W. Edwards Deming once said, Quality is everyone's responsibility. By now, we are probably all aware of the PDSA cycle. Plan, do, study, act. Made famous by Dr. Deming, he himself referred to it as the shoe art cycle, named after another quality improvement leader. Originally referred to as the plan, do, check, act cycle, Dr. Deming changed this to plan, do, study, act. He felt that the check overemphasized inspection over analysis. Unknown to many, the PDSA cycle was actually modeled after Dr. Francis Bacon's scientific method. In fact, the steps plan, do, and check directly refer to the scientific method terminology of hypothesis, experiment, and evaluation. Furthermore, like the scientific method, once a hypothesis or plan is confirmed or negated, the trick to this cycle, the secret, is that you must execute the cycle again to extend and confirm further knowledge. Briefly, plan, do, study, and act refer to steps that work toward quality improvement. Plan refers to establishing objectives and processes. Do refers to implementing the plan. Study refers to collecting and measuring results of implementation. And act refers to making changes based on the results which were studied. Sounds simple enough, right? Is quality improvement really this simple? The truth is, quality improvement is difficult. PDSA cycles fail all the time. A recent study showed that while some quality improvement initiatives improve patient outcomes, others result in only modest improvement, or none at all. Many reasons have been given for the failure of these quality improvement initiatives. Context, leadership, funding may all play a part. I would contend that poorly designed PDSA cycles play a large role in the failure of quality improvement projects. Let's take an even closer look at PDSA cycles. The PDSA cycle was developed by Associates in Process Improvement as a way to speed up improvement in any organization. In fact, the PDSA cycle is but one part of an entire process of improvement. Depicted here is that entire process of improvement. Now notice a few things. It is a systematic process with a beginning, middle, and end. The terminology uses the phrase we, which places an emphasis and importance on team. Even before you enter the PDSA cycle, there are three questions which need to be answered. This process incorporates much of what we have already discussed. And again, please notice, PDSA is a cycle. It doesn't just end abruptly after the act portion. And so let's start with those three questions. They are, what are we trying to accomplish? How will we know that a change is an improvement? What changes can we make that will result in an improvement? Would it surprise you if I told you that many people who are part of an improvement team cannot answer these questions 
even while they're in the middle of performing a PDSA cycle, the good news is we have already discussed how to go about answering these questions. Recall our discussions about clear aims, about run charts and control charts, and about systems and the processes within these systems. The trick is to be as specific as possible as you answer these questions. Set clear goals and set specific timelines. Now that you have answered those questions, I want to go back to PDSA because now you're ready to enter the PDSA cycle. But again, I want to emphasize something. It is not just one cycle. And it's not just two cycles. The model of improvement is made up of multiple PDSA cycles as you try to gain more and more information about the best way to improve your organization. That means continually establishing improvement objectives and processes after applying changes that were based on results from initial study of a plan. Further, many people like to stop after the study step because they feel that the data that they have collected is enough. Again, PDSA is a cycle of improvement and only when one continually enters this cycle can one gain information as to how to improve his or her organization. And so the whole idea of Plan Do Study Act is not as simple as it first appears to be. The PDSA cycle is but one part of a model for improvement which itself emphasizes forming teams, setting aims, establishing measures, selecting changes, and then continually testing and implementing these changes to gain more and more information as to how and where to improve. As you develop your own quality improvement projects, I would ask that you write down your goals and write down your timelines. The Institute for Healthcare Improvement has developed a quick and easy way to keep track of these. Now I want you to think about what aspect of your workplace would benefit from rapid improvement. And now taking everything we just learned about the model for improvement, design an improvement project. Who would you include on your improvement team? What are some anticipated outcomes if your improvement project were to succeed? 